Morning everyone. Today I thought I would try my hand at not celebrity chef, just chef, um, and channel all of my Nigella Lawson energy that I can grab and show you how to make something yummy and healthy for breakfast. So I'm going to show you how to make a chia pudding because it's really, really quick um, and really, really easy and it's just delicious as well and great source of protein and energy and yeah, just a nice way to start the day. Um, so my accessories are not going to look as pretty and refined as celebrity chefs are, but um, start off with doing the lemon bizzo because that's the bit that I hate the most is the zesting and stuff. So this has the zest of one lemon in it and the juice of just half a lemon, so that's the juice here. So just stick your zest in. It's a beautiful morning here on the Gold Coast, so a nice way to start the day. This um, would be ready within about 20 minutes, half an hour. The chia seeds start to puff up and become delicious, um, but I usually just make it the day before just to make it easier and yummier. Um, so three tablespoons of chia seeds. These are my chia seeds here. You can get white chia seeds and you can get black chia seeds, or you can also get a mixed bag. So I've just got a mixed one that I just go to my local Whole Foods store and grab so that I know I'm getting the yummiest. So three tablespoons of these. I love cooking with this spoon. This is my Nana's spoon. So I always think of my beautiful, gorgeous Nana when I use my big kind of ugly tablespoon because it's just gorgeous. Um, two, two teaspoons of rice malt syrup. Other recipes have actually got maple syrup. So if you ever see maple syrup, um, and you'll learn more about this as to why I substitute it, but if you do ever see maple syrup and you want a healthier alternative, fructose-free alternative, then this is the way to go. This is the Pure Harvest brand of rice malt syrup. Um, Sarah Wilson, who I have mentioned in posts before because she's a legend and deserves mentioning all of the time, um, also makes her own brand of rice malt syrup, which um, you get to try, but I'm sure it's just as fabulously nutritious and amazing. Um, the loveliest thing about cooking with rice malt syrup is that you can never get all of it off your spoon, so you just have to clean your spoon off and not waste a drop. So that's always fun. Um, half a cup of milk. I did want to show you actually. Sorry, I've got my boot up on the chair. So it's not the most graceful, but I wanted to show you that this is the brand of milk that I use. Um, I also don't have any dairy in my diet, um, but I just absolutely love coconuts, thank goodness. Um, so they make milk out of coconuts these days, which is great. So um, I usually use this brand, Pure Harvest Cocoa Quench, because it's unsweetened as well. So it's just really beneficial for you without the icky sweeteners in it. Um, so I just didn't want it uglying up my bench. So just half a cup of milk. So you can use whatever milk you want. You can use almond milk if you wanted to use something different. Um, two tablespoons of yogurt. I do use the nudie coconut yogurt when I haven't made my own. So I will probably show you in a later video how to make your own yogurt. I just don't have any on the go at the moment because I haven't been quite as active lately in the whole kitchen scenario. Um, but that will improve surely. Um, and that is just about it. So mix all of that together. And like I said, within about 20 minutes, half an hour, the chia seeds are already starting to swell. And what it will turn into is just this really nice consistency of just sort of thick and yummy and the chia seeds swell into like little juicy, delicious balls. They're just really yummy. Um, so yeah, just give it a good stir and just pop it in the fridge for half an hour or so or just eat it the next day if you want to. Then what I use, oh sorry, I usually add a little bit of cinnamon too because it's amazing helps with your blood sugar levels and um, it's just got some beautiful health properties and it makes everything taste a little bit yummier too. But I know that there are some avid haters of cinnamon out there. Um, to me it tastes like Christmas, but if it tastes like death to you, then just don't put it in. Um, then I usually top this tomorrow with some fresh blueberries because who doesn't love some fresh blueberries? Um, and a little bit of buckwheat. So there's my buckwheat here. I also get that from the Whole Foods store. They are just little treasures of deliciousness. Um, and great for you. And I also top it with a little bit of coconutty granola. Um, if you become one of my um, health coaching clients, then I will give you the key to my secrets in the kitchen and give you a whole recipe book of things that I really rely on and make regularly. This is something that I make regularly and absolutely love. It's like coconut flakes and chia seeds and nuts and pumpkin seeds. And it's a really, really good take it in your bag kind of snack something healthy to munch on and something that really keeps you going. So that's really, really delicious too. But this, like, it, honestly, it, if I hadn't talked so much, it would have even taken less time than this video has taken to film. 
um, and that is tomorrow's breakfast sorted and something yummy and delicious to look forward to instead of maybe the boring humdrum whatever you have every day. So enjoy your days, beautifuls, and I will see you tomorrow after I've eaten my delicious chia seeds for breakfast. Please share this video with anybody who you think might benefit from it. Like it for me and um, if you're interested in my health coaching services, please visit my website up here, um, www.nourishedhealthcoaching.com.au and until then, have a great day. See you. Bye.